Yo, what's up, you guys? It is me, Endless Clash. With today, the first town hall base build videos, and we are going to start with a town hall six trophy base. And yeah, the most important thing of a trophy base is setting your town hall in the middle, and I try and I try to centralize that as most as possible. And yeah. Uh, on town of six mortars are very important because you are probably most of the time are getting raided by uh, some uh, archers and barbarians and maybe some goblins too so you try to set those on some safety spots so they can reach the town hall from every side and yet that's here and this mortar actually j got double of walls because the uh, there's nothing that protect him except those walls and some army camps but those come later so yeah after that we going to drop down wizard towers and if you can see the area is that this wizard tower can reach the town hall from this side this wizard tower can reach it from this side and yeah so uh, the wizard towers and the mortars all can reach the uh, the town hall and if you can see they're also in a nice square and let's now put down the air defense and yeah the air defense is pretty handy but in town hall 6 you don't get raided so much by uh, air troops and that's why it is pretty much here under so yeah, it also could reach the town hall a little bit from this side, but yeah, still what I said, not the most important thing. And also, if you can see, right on this moment, everywhere are little squares. It's also pretty nice, but yeah, let's now go down and put down the, the uh, gold storage and the elixir storages. So yeah, I have chosen to... S to spread them a little bit around but you can also uh, if you are a gold collector you can also uh, change oh <laughs> I used so many gold collectors but yeah you can also use them by setting down here a elixir storage here a gold storage and here a gold storage if you are a gold collector but if you want to protect both resources then it's the end is to get your highest uh, storage in the center and uh, on the outside your lower your lower storages so yeah now we are going to put down the cannons here and all oh, right here they are the archer tower right there and right here and if you know if you are time on six you just have only one archer tower left and one cannon and those are down under so yeah let's now set down uh, the elixir storages so yeah it is also a uh, how you would uh, set them down if you want them but i would like to spread them around a little bit so Elixir gold, elixir gold, elixir gold, elixir gold, elixir gold, elixir gold, 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 elixir gold. So yeah, that's what I like the most. But you can also a big fan of uh, maybe uh, just setting all your resources on the same, all your resources on the same side. So here. Gold, 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 everywhere, gold on this side. If you are a fan of that, yes, just do that, but I am more a fan of spreading it around. So, yes, um, and I actually don't know anymore. If you have six gold collectors or five gold collectors, but I go for six, and uh, five or six elixir bombs, I don't know it anymore. 
but if there are five, you set them down like this. If there are six, you set them down like this. So yeah, now we are already about putting down the army camp. So yeah, let's put an army camp right here. One right here and one right here. And those are the only things that protect the mortar from being hit, except those double layer of walls. So yeah, and now we are going to put down the clan castle. And I am actually not a big fan of the clan castle. But on most bases they are most centralized as possible, but I don't use them so much and that's why it is not centralized by my. But yeah, if you like it you can... Yeah, I don't know what you can change, but I think if you're a big fan of uh, putting down the clan castle in the middle, I would not recommend this base. But otherwise, I think this is one of the best out of six bases who are there. So, yes, um, put down now the barracks. And, yeah, I think this is actually it already had a... There's just one thing left, and that has to be the less important thing of all. Man, why is there not a position? Why everything is covered? Mm. But yeah, that has to be just one building, and that has to be the uh, builder shots. So yeah. Here yeah, they are, the builders that I will... Oh yeah, and the laboratory also, which I would recommend to put those all in separate corners. So, if there are uh, giants or something like that, so those are really slow troops. So they really have to take their time in an attack. That's why it is handy to put them all in the corners. So yeah, I now know why this is basically so handy because everything is covered and the last thing we need to set down is the laboratory and that we going to put down right here yes right here and that is it you can place your traps where you want them to place but yeah this is what i think is the most effective Town of six, and yeah, the only thing that you guys need to do by yourself is putting down the traps. And yeah, that's it for this episode. I let you guys watch uh, a few seconds to this uh, town of six, but uh, yeah, this is going. This is the end already of the town of six episode. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you guys the next episode.